I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to divide tens by tens. We have nine questions here. I will do three for you and other six are for you to practice. First one is 6.5 divided by 0 0.5. Whenever we divide by a decimal number it is a good practice to make divisor a whole number which we can do in this case by moving decimal one place to the right. So if I move this decimal one place to the right, what do I get? I get 5 as my divisor. I have to move for dividend also decimal point one place to the right. So I can now rewrite this question as 65.0 divided by 5. Do you see that? And now we can divide. So let us divide. 6 will go one time by 5. So 5 times 1 is 5. Take away 5 from 6, you get 1. Now bring down 5. 15. 5 goes 3 times. 3 times is 15. Now since that is 0, we know 6.5 divided by 0.5 is 13, right? That is our answer. So we will get 13 here. So that is how we can do it, right? Now we can write down the answer as 6.5 divided by 0 0.5 is equal to 13. Correct? Let me do one more. This time we have re written the division statement as point, I should say 0 0.1 divided by 0 0.8. So whenever you are dividing by a decimal number, this time the divisor is 0 0.8. We have to make it a whole number, which we can by moving decimal to one place right. So if I do that, I can write my division as you are dividing 0 0.1 or after moving 1.0 by 8. Do you see that? That is how they should be written. Okay, let's divide. Can you divide 1 by 8? No. So we'll write 0 here and then we'll consider the zero after decimal. Whenever you take a number after decimal, you have to put a decimal number, right? Now 10 divided by eight, it can go one time. So we can write eight here, take away eight from 10 gives us two. Well, we can add more zeros, bring down that zero and further divide by eight. Eight times two is 16 and we can take away 16 from 20 we get 4. We can further divide, bring down one more zero and 8 times 5 is 40, right? So we get 5 which is 0. So the answer for this is 0 0.125, right? So at times we may go to three decimal places. Well, maximum go to three decimal places for this exercise, okay? Let's do one more. In this case, we are dividing 40.8 by 1.2. First step is make divisor a whole number. One decimal place. These are all tenths, right? So we're moving it one place to the right for both of them. And then we are going to rewrite our division with quotient, with divisor and dividend, right? Divisor is 1.2. After moving the decimal one place to the right, we get 12. And here we have 408.0. Okay. If you divide 40 by 12, by what you can multiply? 3 times 4, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 2 is 6, 36. Okay. 3 times 12 is 36. Take away 36 from 40. So 10 take away 6 is 4. 3 take away 3 is 0. Let's bring down 8. Now 12 goes 4 times in 48. 12 times 4 is 48. So we get 0 remainder. So the answer is 34 for us. Correct? You can follow this strategy and then do these 6 questions. You can pause the video now, copy and then find your answer. I hope that helps. Thank you. 